Hello and welcome to another video. Today, for the Emigre anniversary, the first thing we are going to is go for the uh, episode for this anniversary is Ubuntu 8.04 LTS and the 6 Corporate version. I know, not very interesting, but hey, at least it is something. Uh, of course, if you like this video at the end, you may like and subscribe if you want to. And of course, I already showed you how to install Emigre on Windows and Linux, so links to these videos will be in the description. I know I did not yet migrate the videos to Odyssey, even though I do have an account, but hey, at least I have Odyssey now, I have my few reasons why. So of course you must download Ubuntu 8.04 first, link will be in the description, get the desktop CDE or 64 bit, and of course this is old, and yeah, if the hard drive of Ubuntu 8.04 doesn't survive a shutdown, I'm sorry, then you have to reinstall it. So, of course, after you've done this, and on Emigre, I run on Linux, you may have run with sudo. And of course, I delete that because the part of the there. This is in English, by the way. Of course, make sure the path are set up correctly. Yes, so on is here. Anyway, click on New Virtual Machine and ty uh, type in a suitable name. I call it Ubuntu 8.04 LTS x64. Architecture is x64 for this video. But there are also other architectures, but I won't get into them today. Click Next. For the machine, let Korea may decide for CPU. If you don't use acceleration or just use Windows, don't uh, just use QMU64 or something like that. If you are on Linux and plan to use uh, KVM, then you go with ALT. For the RAM, uh, that depends on your computer. Generally, you need at least one gig of RAM. Uh, I get four because I have it. If you're not sure how much on how much RAM you have, you must check it on Linux. It's on start system uh, or settings. Uh, yeah, settings and system information. You can see. How much RAM you have. Of course, that depends on your operating system. If you're on Windows, uh, listen closely as I cannot why I cannot make any footage right now. If you're on Windows, uh, just press uh, Windows and pause. Or if you have certificates on Windows 10 and 11, uh, on Windows 10 at least. But the Windows and the iKeys, uh, then go to System and Info. On Windows 11, I can't really explain it, but uh, Windows and Pause will do the trick as well. Anyway, click Next. Create a new virtual hard drive. And make sure it doesn't have any spaces because that is what Emigre uh, doesn't like. HD file format Q card 2 or okay you can choose yourself but oh well. Make it at least 20 gigs. Click next. For the VGA, 
so that's it was fun network. I went with the RTO 8139, the, the test. For the mouse, you can leave it as it is. Click next. You don't need any fees, click next. For the sound card, uh, if you want sounds, select the AC97. But as I'm recording, as always, uh, OBS can't record it. <coughs> Therefore, none for me. The your core. Uh, that also depends on your processor. Uh, of course, if you have a quad core at least, you should go with two, as that, especially in Windows. But as I only have a dual core processor, I go with one. That usually also works for the keyboard. Leave it as is. Keyboard layout. Uh, select what you want. I select the German keyboard layout because I use a German keyboard. Next. You don't need any of these, click next. Acceleration, and that's new in MG 1.1. Uh, so, Windows users should go with TCG at least. So, six dots, Windows users. Same for Linux users who can't use KVM. If you're on Linux and can use KVM, which should basically be any PC that can run Imagery because I can all do it as well. Say so KVM. If your computers if you're on Windows and your computer can use one of those, you can also try Hexen or WHPX. But I go with KVM. Click next. Add USB support, USB EHCI. If you're still on, on an older version of Emigree, of course, and don't have acceleration yet, I know that I'm nice. Then you can type it here. But uh, this is Emigree 1.1, so it's not needed. Click Finish. It may take up to 10 seconds, but it's there. Uh, then click on Start with a Machine. And from there, you click on Bars for the CD-ROM. And you select the ISO file. You boot from D. TPM is not needed. And set the system Start VM. Okay. Zoom to, you can zoom to fit and show the tabs. Control Alt, you can I'll select English for the language. Key map, however, is not USA in my case, so please select your keyboard layout. Uh, in my case, I have a German keyboard, so I choose Germany. And just as a tip, Control Alt F full screen, Control Alt F again out of full screen. If you click in with the mouse, Control G to to get the mouse visible for the house again. You can of course try it out, or you can install it directly. In my case, I install it directly. And of course, full screen. Yeah, and I'll be right back. Now you should be greeted with the install screen. Uh, for this tutorial I choose English board. Select the time zone. Okay. Okay. But. This is 
some other car anyway. Off the car. Sure. And big Australia, Europe. Okay, funny. Uh, click forward. Select the keyboard layout. Of course, we can test it. Okay, forward. Of course, you can use the entire virtual disk. It won't format your entire system. It's just going to use the file. Of course, name. Select the password. Of course, you and yes, you do need a password. Da, 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 da. Of course. There's more stuff. And install. That is gonna take a while. So uh so it's uh, now you say wait and drink some water. Okay, the installation is complete, so now you need to restart. Control F, Control G, Control G. You need now because now you must remove the disk. For that, go to Compat Monster Zero. You can also select it by the view. Type info block. And here you see IDE1 CD0 it is. And now type in eject IDE1 CD0. And now press enter. And now it's going to start up on the hard drive. Press for that control F. Of course. And of course you would hear sound if you install a sound card. I did not because it's pointless in my case. Anyway, type in your username and your password. And our startup sound will not come unfortunately because as I said, 
adding uh, some card is pointless on my setup. I don't know. Maybe you know how to uh, add to make it uh, also uh, have sound while you record something. Let me in the comments and yeah, if you do. So basically what you could now do is experiment with it or just play a bit old uh, solitaire. Uh, remember the most part of the time, let's do it again. Okay, I lost. Of course if there are updates available. Yeah, and you could upgrade to 10.04.4 LTS as well. But yes, that's another topic for another video. For now, I hope you have fun with it, and I say goodbye and see you next time.